Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Roger Cloutier, the commander of NATO Allied Land Command, Izmir, Turkey. This month, NATO is celebrating the 20th anniversary of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325, through which the Women, Peace and Security Agenda was established. The Women, Peace and Security mandate is fundamental to NATO's common values of individual liberty, democracy, human rights, and obligations under the Charter of the United Nations. Security Council Resolution 1325 is a landmark resolution that raised attention, global attention for women, peace and security. Um, it also um, presented an understanding that women, men, boys and girls are affected by war differently and influence also the war in different ways. In line with the United Nations Security Council Resolution on WPS, NATO aims to adjust gender inequality and integrate WPS priorities through the Alliance's three core tasks of collective defense, crisis management, and cooperative security. So I think we've made a lot of progress, and I'm happy to see women uh, amongst uh, the, the force in LANCOM and within NATO. But I certainly look forward to the day where we actually have more senior women in key positions in NATO and in LANCOM. I was put in a first sergeant position and it was male dominated. To be honest, I was in that battalion, I was the first female and Hispanic to be the first sergeant and it was rough. I faced challenges almost every day. NATO is seeking to promote greater gender equality and increase the participation of women in defense and security institutions within the Alliance and its member nations. And their inclusion in decision making ensures uh, prevention uh, from conflict related sexual and gender based violence and also prevention of armed conflict along with their inclusion and participation in uh, post conflict decision making processes also assists uh, recovery which is a linchpin for sustainable peace. The integration and mainstreaming of gender perspectives at LANCOM is a priority and the inclusion of the WPS mandate in planning and execution is an inherent part of all exercises and operations. And I think the big part that, that I see is that women are, you know, they need to be part of the solution. They represent the, the majority of the population. It is getting better because at first you're trying to integrate their females having feel part of it to now giving them uh, positions of authority like I was a uh, senior drill sergeant for my platoon. So not only I'm just a female in my platoon, I'm the one in charge of the drill sergeants and the trainees as well. So my experience would say that we have made significant progress. Um, I would say that we, that we have a long way to keep going in events such as the, the 20th anniversary and highlighting those, those uh, successes and, and, and what the, the topic is uh, will go a long way. So I think we need to continue to do that. And if we do that, I think our, our future is, is bright. It's initiatives like this that make us better and continues to solidify our status as the strongest military alliance in history.